collapses. Ambulance takes him to the emergency room. The, the doc asked if I was on s**t in my first response. I didn't know what to say. You guys know the Trent Twins, two of the biggest names we have in the fitness industry. They're brothers, they're entertaining, uh, they're fun to watch. Very, very popular. Well, one of the brothers Bunks. collapsed while he's working out in the gym, and he's in the hospital. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly what happened. So one of the brothers, he goes, he has uh, 700 milligrams of caffeine. I don't know if it was pre-workout, energy drinks. We don't know exactly what he, what exactly in what form he took it, but he took 700 milligrams of caffeine, uh, two uh, chewing gum, the nicotine gum, uh, which I don't think have anything to do with this situation. Usually, sometimes people use it to suppress their appetite. Well, anyway, he takes the 700 milligrams of caffeine, goes to the gym, works out, collapses, uh, goes to the emergency room, ambulance takes him to the emergency room. The the doc asked if I was on steroids in my first response. I didn't know what to say. They asked me too. I said, hell yeah. They already knew though. I came in with the freaking tank top and shit. This is an anabolic ending. Imagine that. Killed by caffeine. Doc, does it look like I'm on steroids? Are you asking me if I'm natty? Doc, you think I'm natty, buddy? Fuck you, man. Doc. Doc! <laughs> oh, I see. I can buy the store. I love that any second. All right. This is, uh, Trent Twins. Full review. Sarah. Feral. Supplements. Fuck yeah. I want to first say something, okay? You guys remember, they're both on gear, and they take, you know, I don't know exactly what their dosages are, but think about something, okay? What if they're taking Anadrol? Anadrol, pre-workout, going to the gym, 700 milligrams of caffeine. Bad shit can happen to you if you mix those types of things together. 700 milligrams, that's a ton of caffeine. Uh, for example, an energy drink, a normal one, a full can, 200 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, a good pre-workout, normal pre-workout, 150 milligrams caffeine, cup of coffee, same thing. So when I first heard this happened, you know, I was thinking about the combination of all the things that uh, he was taking. And the reason why you would collapse in a situation like this, if you look up caffeine overdoses or any information on what caffeine does to your heart, especially in that type of a dosage, your heart rhythm is affected. And when your heart rhythm is affected, you can collapse. It could be a cardiac arrest. You could die. And he's lucky right now that he's alive to tell this story in the hospital. Now, caffeine is one amazing tool, like a lot of things in life, if it's used the right way. Me, for example, I have bad ADD my entire life. Caffeine, I don't want to ever get on Adderall or anything like that. And caffeine, specifically coffee, has helped me complete tasks in my life before caffeine before I discovered caffeine which it wasn't actually that long ago it was very hard for me my entire life to complete tasks so it's something that's very important for my life but I also know not to abuse it uh, for example in the morning I have one coffee to help me focus get my tasks done if I go to the gym if it's during the day I'll actually have a pump product only no stimulants and then I'll have uh, half a can and I'm drinking Gorilla Mine now because I think it's a great energy drink. I have half a can, which is 100 milligrams of caffeine, and that's it. If I go at nighttime, it's only the pump product because I want to have a good night's rest. So as good as a tool it is for me, and it's helped my life, I knew not to abuse it because bad things can happen. And we hear so many stories all the time about kids collapsing from caffeine, dying. Uh, remember that guy, Scott Murray? He was a heavy, heavy user of caffeine which probably caused them to get that heart attack at 25 years old. So these are stories we always hear. And another story like this one 
has to be another warning sign to all of us to realize that these things can all be tools for us, but you can't abuse them. So we're gonna find out uh, probably more about what happened. He's in the hospital currently and wishing him the best and a good recovery. And you can only hope he learns his lesson because like I said in the beginning of the video, these kids are entertaining. They bring entertainment factor to fitness, which is what I love the most. That's the most thing that I'm interested in this is people that are entertaining. And there are two of them. So hopefully for the best for him, hope he learns his lesson and uh, let's see what happens next. I've been on TRT for over 10 years and it's done so much for my life to make me feel younger, stronger. And I recently signed with a company called Live Forever Health. I'm gonna put a link in my coupon code in the bio. And this company, you know, everything's been so seamless, you know, and I tested this out. You know, I would never recommend things to people unless I'm using it, unless I tested the whole process. And the process couldn't be easier. They sent me a kit to send my blood back in the mail. Uh, they got my results. We went, I met with the doctor, with the nurse practitioner. We went over my results and then they gave me my prescription, sent me the testosterone in the mail. So it couldn't be easier. And again, this is a company I trust that I actually did the whole process with and pricing is competitive similar to everybody else who does it but this is a company that I use and a company again that I trust.